All right, welcome to the channel. It's been a while. This week, we're gonna have a dig back into my pedal board and have a look in detail at a pedal I haven't done before. Um, at home, as usual, so that you're gonna have a snoring dog, potentially a barking dog, traffic, workmen outside. You get all of that on this channel, you're used to it by now. So what we're gonna have a look at today is this tiny little thing. It is the Trelicopter by Moore, uh, a little, Kind of cheap, basic, but really good sounding tremolo pedal. Um, lots of people have these just for a cheap little effect, but there's some great players out there, someone like Chris Buck, who has access to real high-end pedals. And if you look at his pedal board, it is real high-end, but he still has one of these on there for some sounds, which shows how, how good this thing can sound. So we're gonna uh, have a few close-ups, get a few sounds, have a bit of a play with it. Um, but before that, Here's a few words from our sponsor. I'd like to take a second to talk to you about this channel. Believe it or not, 57% of the people that watch here regularly are not subscribed. So I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button now. This will help me get even more of my dream guests in the future. Thank you. Poor old Rick, 4.4 million subscribers, but 57% of his viewers don't subscribe to his channel. Over on this channel, 98.1% of you do not subscribe. 19 out of 20 people watching this right now are not subscribed. Please do, it doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out, it gives me a little buzz to get back into making videos. So please subscribe, like, leave some comments, tell me what you think of the video. And Rick, if you're watching this, it's done with love. What a channel, everybody go, uh, go and subscribe and watch his uh, if you're one of these 57% of people who don't. So let's get the Trelicopter back on the board, grab a guitar, play a few riffs and talk about its controls. So you may now be looking at a close-up of the pedal um, and you may see the kind of dusty and dog hairy state of the rest of my pedal board. So I got this a little while ago, as I say it's a kind of um, it's pretty cheap pedal and very small, obviously, footprint on your pedal board to chuck um, chuck on the, the board. It's also really small current draw, five milliamps. It's true bypass. Um, so it's a really cheap and affordable thing to just chuck on the board. Mine cost me 42 quid brand new from Anderton's. Um, and it's pretty easy to use, although having said that, I'm not the most clued up in electronics and the way things work. So for me, putting mine on the board, I can see depth. That seems pretty self-explanatory to me. I can see speed. That seems pretty self-explanatory. That's the big white knob. And then the top right is bias. And without me kind of playing with it or having any understanding, I need. I don't know what bias means. So we'll, we'll kind of, um, we'll get some sounds out of it. So... Very briefly, let's grab the casino. We're set up uh, what I should have played in the intro, hopefully is a bit of rumble by Link Ray and it's set up in that sound. So without the Trelicopter, stick it on. So you can hear how it's coming in and out. So speed, the big white knob, really easy, turn it up. It'll do that faster, turn it down slow. The depth knob obviously is how much the volume cuts in and out. So you can have um, a harmonic tremolo, which is a, a different thing. Um, and I would love a harmonic tremolo one day, um, but this is a volume tremolo. So it's your signal is going in and out. So basically with the depth all the way up, when the volume cuts out, there's nothing there at all. So you just get this staccato sort of thing. Turn the speed down. Turn the depth down and it's more of a subtle kind of sound. Clean that up for you. Yeah. 
Turn it down a bit more, down to about nine o'clock. Now it's still there, we'll have to see how that sounds uh, coming through the mic into the, the laptop and anything. It's still there, but for me, for my ears, my rig, my amp, anything below halfway on the depth, I struggle to kind of pick out what it's doing. I can tell it's there. I've kicked on some delay. So. Not very much of it at all. Turn it back up to, to halfway. So you can hear it there. When, when I use it, the lowest I'm going with the depth is probably about halfway. Which then brings us to the mysterious bias knob. Um, and I played with it, and from playing with it, obviously I could tell it changed the sound, but I didn't really understand what it was it was doing, so it took a little bit of research. So this, the bias knob, the intention of it is to take your tremolo from, it changes the shape of the wave, let's say. So it's meant to, it's meant to go from like a smooth in and out kind of wave up to a more choppier, kind of more aggressive sound, a bit of a more modern sound. So at the moment, it's um, quite low down in the vintage sort of section, or, or smoother sort of. And if I turn it up, it's sort of three o'clock. A little bit choppier, you might be able to pick it out. Turn it all the way up. It's hard to really pick out what it's doing with the depth a bit lower, so we'll turn that up as well. So you can hear now the a very deep kind of volume cutting out and then the kind of choppiness of it as well. Obviously the speed is down. Turn that back up. So that's what the bias knob does. So what I want to do now, this might turn out to be a short video actually, but it's been, it's been long enough anyway, is just try and pick out a few tremolo-y riffs from vintage kind of 60s stuff up to kind of maybe more modern, rockier things maybe. And um, we'll see if the Trelicopter is up to it. So we've had rumble already. Uh, and while we're playing the casino, and because I fill this channel with it, we're going to need to do some Beatles, aren't we? Okay, so we'll do some um, Don't Let Me Down off of Let It Be. That's got um, tremolo on, uh, on George's part. If you watch the, um, the rooftop performance back, you can um, pick out what George is playing. Um, I'm going through the Aklam Dr. Robert at the moment, which gives great beatly tones. It's more about, more voiced after Revolver and Sgt. Pepper. But if you're into your Beatles tones, look elsewhere on the channel. I've done a, a review of the Dr. Robert pedal that no one's watched, to be fair. Um, so George's part sounds a bit like this. <laughs>
So you can hear. It's it's smooth. It's not like it's not that kind of choppy modern sound. And it just gives you it just gives you that bit of movement. Um, similar kind of era. A little bit of credence might be the first bit of credence on the channel. I should do more credence. Um, but as I say, vintage, smooth, fender amp kind of um, tremolo that you're going to get out of it. Jump in. I want to say a little bit more modern, but we're still talking 40 years ago. Um, while I'm on the casino, let's try some Johnny Marr or that Johnny Marr tremolo riff. So you can see now on the pedal, I've turned the depth up an awful lot and I've turned the bias more onto that um, choppy sort of sound side. So you couldn't really uh, accuse this sound of being subtle or even smooth. It's very, um, yeah, that kind of staccato sort of thing. And I liked playing this one with a bit of phaser. I think when you listen to Johnny Marr talk about it, he talks about pushing the, the faders live in the mix to give it a bit more movement. So although I know there isn't a phaser on it, I think it just sounds cool with it. So while we're on that choppy side, let's go more modern, maybe a bit heavier. So just grab the Les Paul to go a bit heavier. So I've just moved the control to have the depth maxed out and the bias maxed out. So this should be incredibly in and out, up and down, uh, and incredibly choppy as well. Um, to do some Tom Morello, so Rage Against the Machine, Gorilla Radio, obviously Tom Morello used all kinds of different sounds. Um, but the intro to this has got a real kind of heavy tremolo. Sounds a bit like this. So you can see how, obviously there's a lot of gain in there, but you can see how extreme it will go with the choppiness um, and, and that kind of really deep tremolo sound. Just thought I'd grab the Jazz Master. So when I was thinking of making this video, I thought let's dig through um, some of my favorite artists and find some kind of tremolo guitar parts to replicate. Um, and I found an interesting idea um, I really love Bon Iver or Bon Iver uh, and they have a song on the second record, my favourite record, which is Hinnom TX or Hinnom Texas, where it's kind of almost like a bed of sound coming in and out uh, with its phasey and its tremolo -y. So I thought, you know, that might be something cool to try and replicate. So the, um, well, you can see the controls. Um, quite a lot of depth, bias back more, bias in the middle, really, and uh, speed. 
somewhere in there. So I've got the phaser working uh, with the tremolo. It just gives all this movement. Get a bit of a, a, bit of a gainy signal. So that particular Bon Iver song sounds a bit like this. So you can see with stuff like that, I mean, I can chuck that into the looper on the timeline and have hours of fun um, playing around with that. But I don't know, something about a tremolo and a phaser and the way the guitar moves around, I really like. Um, one more guitar, I think. You can tell I've not made a video for a while because I'm trying to use as many guitars as possible. Um, but I need to use a different one now. This next song is in uh, Dadgad tuning. It's Present Tense by Pearl Jam. Again, when I was listening to, to songs, I kind of went, oh, there's a bit of tremolo. That's a really cool one. Um, and yeah, so this one, depth and bias um, to my ear, kind of in the middle. Um, so not kind of a modern choppy sound, but more kind of not subtle, but well, you'll hear it. So conclusions then, I mean, I think it's really cool. Having a glance down on my pedal board, I've realized that in recent years, I have tried to upgrade sounds, even though I'm not gigging, I'm barely playing guitar at all, but I've tried to have a nice fancy Strymon delay pedal. The chorus is the Ripley Fall. I've got the Dr. Robert, real high-end uh, pedals. But for tremolo, it's a sound that I'll use so sparingly, it's not worth me dropping a few hundred quid on a tremolo pedal. But the Trelicopter, 42 quid brand new, really small, doesn't take up any room on your, your pedal board, doesn't draw, loads of, draw, doesn't draw loads of current. And it will give you those vintage smooth tremolo fender amp sounds up to the choppy uh, and kind of staccato modern tremolo sounds. So thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think of the pedal in the comments. Let me know what um, what other riffs I could have played. A couple missed out. Something like Gimme Shelter. I haven't dialed in these sounds perfectly or... When you go looking for it, you'll hear it everywhere. So let me know what cool tremolo sounds um, you think I've missed out on, what you thought of the pedal. Please leave a comment if you liked the video, please like. And remember, 57% of Rick Beato's viewers aren't subscribed to his channel. 98.1% of my viewers aren't subscribed. So click subscribe, it will really give me a buzz about making YouTube videos and really help me along. So again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.